my day. Hello, students. Welcome to my English lesson. This is Mr. Book, your English teacher. I'm so glad to see you again. How are you, my smart and clever students? Are you ready for our English lesson? Okay, let's get started. Before, I want to ask you to guess the topic of my lesson. Let's listen and sing a song and then guess. Excellent! Today, we are going to talk about daily routines. Daily routines are the usual series of things that we do every day. Let's study the actions that we do every day. Okay? Repeat after me. Do homework. I do my homework in the evening. Brush my teeth. I brush my teeth in the morning. Have dinner. I have dinner at 6 p.m. in the evening. Get dressed. I get dressed at 7 30 a.m. in the morning. Get up. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Have lunch. My friend and I have lunch at 1 15 in the afternoon. Go to bed. After having dinner, I go to bed. Go to school. We go to school every day. Have a shower. I have a shower at 7 o'clock in the morning. Have a breakfast. I have an egg, bread with sausage, and a cup of tea for breakfast. Play. After doing my homework, I play football with my friends. Read a book. Before going to bed, I read a book. Dear students, now look at the picture and write the things you do every day. One, I go to bed. Two, I do my homework. Three, I have a shower. Four, I read a book. Five, I brush my teeth. Six, I have dinner. Great job! And now try to write about your day. But before writing, let me explain the present simple tense of verbs to you. Present simple tense. We use the present simple when an action happens regularly. For example, I get up at 7 a.m. This action happens regularly. With pronouns I, you, we, they, the present simple tense is formed like this I play, you play, we play, they play. For example, I read a book, you read a book, we read a book, they read a book. With pronouns he, She, it, the present simple tense is formed by adding s to the end of the verb. She plays. He plays. It plays. For example, she reads a book. He reads a book. It reads a book. The verbs with endings. O, sh, ch, s. In the third person singular, you usually add es. He does his homework. She does her homework. Present simple time words. When we speak in the present simple tense, we often use the words every day, usually. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. My dear students, let's practice. Write the third form of the following verbs 1. Do homework. 
does homework. Two, brush my teeth. Brushes her or his teeth. Three, have dinner. Has dinner. Four, get dressed. Gets dressed. Five, get up. Gets up. Six, have lunch. Has lunch. Seven, go to bed. Goes to bed. Eight, go to school. Goes to school. Nine, have a shower. Has a shower. Ten, have breakfast. Has breakfast. Eleven, play. Plays. Twelve, read a book. Reads a book. Excellent. You haven't made any mistakes. Now, let's do the next activity. Read the text and fill in the gaps with the correct words using the present simple. This is Bob. He is nine years old. Every day, Bob at eight. This is Bob. He is nine years old. Every day, Bob gets up at eight. Then he and then he brushes and gets dressed. At eight twenty, Bob and then at eight twenty, Bob has breakfast and then. Does homework. At two p.m., he comes home and at two he comes home and has lunch. Then Bob, then Bob reads a book. Bob and his family. At nine thirty p.m., Bob, Bob and his family have dinner. At nine thirty p.m. Bob goes to bed. Excellent, good job, my dear students. Aren't you tired? No. So let's continue. Watch the video, and cross out the things that are not true about Mark. Get up at seven forty-five. True. Wash face. True. Read a book. Not true. Brush one's teeth. True. Play in the park. Not true. Go to a sports center. True. Have breakfast at ten. True. Do homework. It's true. Have lunch at home. Not true. Get home at four p.m. It's true. Play computer games. True. Go to bed at ten. It's true. Now let's talk about the negative form of verbs. Sometimes we don't like doing anything. How should we negate to do something? The negative form of the verb form with auxiliary verbs do, does, and not. Don't, doesn't. I don't have dinner. You don't have dinner. She, he, it doesn't have dinner. We don't have dinner. You don't have dinner. They don't have dinner. It's time to practice. Be careful. You should choose don't or doesn't. Nodir and I play football. Nadir and I play football. Nadir and I don't play football. His mother gets up at six thirty in the morning. His mother gets up at six thirty in the morning. His mother doesn't get up at six thirty in the morning. The children brush their teeth. The children. Brush their teeth. The children don't 
brush their teeth. My brother likes playing computer games. My brother like playing computer games. My brother doesn't like playing computer games. We have dinner at 7 p.m. We have dinner at 7 p.m. We don't have dinner at 7 p.m. Now, my dears, let's talk about my day. Every day, I usually do the same things go to school, cook, wash clothes, and do some other daily routines. In the morning at 7 o'clock, I get up and go to the bathroom. I have a shower and I brush my teeth. Then I get dressed. I cook breakfast for myself. It can be porridge, sausages, or just sandwiches. I also have a cup of tea with milk. At 8 o'clock, I go to work. You know, I work at a school. Lessons begin at 8 30 and finish at 3 p.m. During the breaks, I have a rest in the staff room. After work, I go home, have dinner, and rest for a while. Teachers always have a lot of work. They need to check notebooks, plan the lessons, and read books. Twice a week, I go to the swimming pool. Sometimes I go to the library. Sometimes I stay at home and read books. At 10 o'clock, I go to bed. I hope it's all clear now, my dear students. Now answer my questions about your daily routine. Are you ready? Let's start. One, what time does your mother get up? She gets up at 7 a.m. Two, what time do you have breakfast? I have breakfast at 7 30 a.m. Three, what time do you go to school? I go to school at 7 50 a.m. Four, who do you have dinner with? I have dinner with my family. Five, what do you do in the evening? I read a book in the evening. Dear children, you did a good job today. Don't miss school, study well, keep your uniform neat, and care about your school things. You are shining stars. But I think that is all for today. See you next time. Goodbye.